Moscow and Brussels have agreed that Ukraine will have to pay the gas bills it still owes to Russia. Ensuring the safe transit of Russian gas supplies through Ukraine is vital for the EU. And that dependence on Russian gas will remain at least for another decade. According to the Fitch Rating Agency, it's predicted that other supplies won't be ready to meet the demands. Europe's not ready to rework the current infrastructure or shift to using other sources of energy like shale gas. Ukraine also gets its gas from Russia but owes Moscow more than $5 billion. The state coffers are running empty and one of the country's largest power plants has now had its gas cut off after using too much of the resource. People are now being encouraged to cut down their energy usage as well. RT's Ilya Petenko reports. It looks like Ukraine's capital is in for another sunny week. Although, throughout the hot summer, Kiev was not lining up for air conditioners, but rather electric boilers. As the government's saving gas for the winter, people have been left with cold showers in the summer. The country is preparing for December way in advance. Like in this school, where kids will now have classes on Saturdays to avoid the deep freezes of Christmas with two months of holiday. But some think the public's efforts shouldn't end there. Do you know that during the evening we can leave the lights off in our houses? We can just light candles. It will create a romantic vibe and lift your mood. I think such light is much better than those bright lamps. Energy efficiency campaigns are running wild. Потому что бережешь энергию, бережешь Украину. Сбережем энергию, сбережем Украину. While some are looking for offbeat solutions, others seem to be more obsessed with politics. Here's a set of stickers being promoted online. So, leave your bedroom lights off and you're a patriot, but plug in a computer or a laptop and you're this. Ilya Petrenko, RT.